do you want to hear about home inspections or do you want home inspections to hear about you? Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today I am going to be diving into the drama that is home inspection TikTok. Yeah, you heard me, you read it, home inspections. And it's it's kind of juicy. I found out about this subject through Evil Pinely. That's Pinely, but the evil version. Just the beginning part of it fascinated me, and I just, I really wanted to research it more, so. <laughs> so I stopped watching that video, like, probably like 30 seconds in, and I've been doing this for the last three hours. <laughs> this is Inspector Preston. He writes in screen that he didn't want to make this video, but his hands have been forced, and he is straight up tagging sci-fi home inspections. Preston says he's been getting death threats, he's been stalked, and he's been harassed online for the last year and a half. He says that Sci-Fi is a great home inspector and that he has no problem with his inspecting skills. Preston then brings up a screenshot of an article titled By Sci, The Disgrace of Sci Porter. So I read the article. Sai has like 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's a pretty big deal. And the author alleges that Sai has caused his YouTube channel to be taken down by copyright strikes. This article talks about this guy named Paul who has decided to delete his social media. So I'll be blurring his face, but I'm still going to show you his video. You see, this fella named Brandon posted a video of his electric meter socket wiring. And the wiring is going through the back of the panel, okay? So, since the wiring is going through the back of the panel, a fellow named Paul stitched the video to say, yeah, it looks pretty, but you violated code 312.5C. No, but I'll show you a violation of 312.5C. It looks really pretty. That's code 312.5C. That code says that the raceway extends directly above the enclosure and does not penetrate a structural ceiling. So the thing that holds the wire should be going up instead of like it's going down. And then he finishes the video with a... You still got violations in your work. I'm just saying. Okay. So then Sai found this video of him stitching his friend saying, hey, you just broke code 312.5C. And Sai thought his buddy was being attacked. So Sai was like, oh, I got my dogs back, bro. And he posted a video basically saying that Paul, who is a code expert and educator, is attacking Brandon, who posted the meter panel. <laughs> and he says that Brandon does the best work in Arizona. Sai then explains that this is what they do with their electrical panels, and they put them outside, and that's how the wiring looks. So I thought, are there different regulations and protocols depending on what state you're in? Maybe it's just how they do it in Arizona. So I paused the video and I looked it up. According to the National Fire Protection Association, as of August 2024, all 50 states have been updated to at least 2008 regulation code conducts. So we know that Arizona is at least 2008, okay? Well, I looked up code 3125, and in part A of code 312.5C, it says that each cable is fastened with 300 millimeters measured along the sheath of the outer end of the raceway. The raceway extends directly above the enclosure and does not penetrate a structural ce ceiling. So, those wires do in fact not go up, they go down. If I'm reading this right, and I have no idea, I don't, I'm not an electrician. That is, I, I don't even know an electrician, okay? <laughs> I don't even know anybody who does electronics, okay? So, that to me says that these wires that are coming out from the bottom here should actually be on top of the electric panel. Which brings us back to Sai, okay? Who had said that it doesn't matter if his friend Brandon does it that way because they're doing, that's what they do. That's their protocols, which is not true. Uh, it's been acted since <laughs> 1975. 312.5 has been in the books since 1975 when they first put it in there. 
and all the states agree to follow that code. So Brandon is in fact breaking code 312.5C by not having his cables come through the top and rather having them come through the bottom and then working up. And then Cy talks about how Paul should stop be bullying Brandon, which for the record, Paul was not bullying Brandon. He was just pointing out that there was a code, which is 312.5C, that was not being followed. So again, Paul is not in the wrong here. Where'd you go, Paul? Come back. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you deleted your social media and stuff. And I wouldn't be surprised if it has to do with the rest of this. But that's all the research I got so far. And I want to make a full video on this. I need to listen to Size Side and I need to listen to... I need to listen to Preston. We haven't even gotten in to the Inspector Preston versus sci-fi home inspections yet. That's how much drama there is already. There's already this much drama, okay? And we haven't even gotten into the main stuff. I don't know how Sai is getting himself into this kind of drama, but he is, and I love that for you, Sai. I love that for you. So yeah, I'm gonna look more into this, and I'm just really excited, okay? So I'll see you soon. Bye.